Good afternoon. This is Casey with Five Tons with Guns. And uh, we are completely rebuilding, revising, modifying our uh, David Singry gas powered foundry furnace. Which uh, you can run uh, charcoal, natural gas, or LP gas with this furnace. Now, <clears throat> we're going to start off, we've, we've already started off with the, uh, the, the fan, and we're going to show you about that, and uh, we've also got it on wheels, we have uh, cut off the bottom portion of the fan stand itself which does not really have a big enough footprint for my taste. So we've cut that off. It was a little bit flimsy also. It flexed uh, slightly, which uh, I did not like, and made a little bit of noise. So we've, got, we've done away with that. <clears throat> and we put it on the same frame as what we had our... Uh, our furnace on that you've seen in our other videos. So now we've got it mounted to the uh, the frame, and uh, we've got it on wheels. Uh, let me cover the wheels first, and then we'll we'll get rid of that. Uh, the wheels you can make, and uh, most of us, whenever we start off uh, with our foundries. Why we get these fire extinguishers or uh, gas cylinders, oxygen cylinders, you know, they're four inch diameter. And uh, I know I went through a few crucibles that were made from fire extinguishers myself. But what you can do with your, with the remaining top of your fire extinguisher, extinguisher after you get your crucible cut off whatever desired length you're going to be doing why from then on you can cut your wheels out of the remaining fire extinguisher <clears throat> the reason I've done this the old design was unwieldy clumsy off balance you did not know, you know, you, you had to pick it up with two hands. And uh, you pick it up here, it's off balance because of the motor. And of course the motor was mounted to the, to the frame, the, the whole frame there. And just a real unsteady thing. Out of balance. So we've uh, modified this part of it. You know, this is the original uh, fan housing. Uh, the number 550 mandrel from Ch Chicago die cast. Uh, your uh, shaft is 5 8 diameter. But you'll get a pulley, two locking collars, and two bearing blocks with it, as well as your nuts and uh, washers, which are you've got one left hand thread and one right hand thread. Now, if you come back around over here, we're going to take the cover off and uh, we'll show you the internals of this fan. And how the blades are. See how that is? Let's turn it on. Okay, we've got our switch up here now, you know, in our other videos, I was plugging it in and unplugging it, which was kind of a pain, and uh, wasn't very, uh, very good for uh, production to have to do that. Now your, uh, your belt tightening part of this, we're, we're done with the, uh, the wheels. Your belt tightening here, 
you know, your motor. Uh, this is a quarter horsepower motor. And it's uh, on a, uh, a NEMA number 48 frame, like a blower motor, a evaporative cooler motor. And we've got this nice uh, tensioner plate that works uh, by gravity pretty much. But we do have a lock nut here just in case. So we've got a nice, nice little tow handle. You know, we had to buy a special rod for it. You know, it's all we have on hand. But uh, welding stainless steel to, uh, you know, ferrous metal steel, you got to have a different kind of rod. So uh, we did that. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I like shiny stuff. And we've got a uh, another a bigger pulley. David Singry's uh, design come out with a three and a half inch pulley on the motor shaft on your driver. And uh, <clears throat> being that this furnace has the capability of doing cast iron, that is probably where the three and a half inch pulley came into. But uh, I'm going with a much smaller pulley. I'm going to go into uh, some lower belts here. Lead, zinc, hot metal, aluminum. And when I go into the copper, if I need to, I, I know I can change pulleys. So, anyway, I would like to uh, go over your, your burner. Now here's your mixing chamber. This is made of two inch outside diameter muffler pipe. 14 inches long. Inside diameter is inch and seven eighths. So we got a one sixteenth inch wall. Now the key to your burner assembly here, and it's so simple, is <clears throat> first of all, you'll take a half inch pipe nibble, cut it in half. Cut a hole for it, five eighths, one inch from your your flange right here, one inch. Weld that in there, and then can we get a real good picture of the inside of the chamber here? Okay, now right here, you've got a uh, inch and seven eighths diameter, outside diameter machinery washer with an inch and a quarter diameter, inside diameter. And you'll braze that in there, one inch inside of your flange, right up next to your pipe nipple here. You see where the line is at? Right there. Okay, now, this will give you uh, the capability of doing your foundry work with natural gas. <clears throat> now, if you want to do with, if you want to be going with propane, there's nothing wrong with propane. Burns good and hot. What you'll do is take your same nipple or a nipple just like this nipple, like this, and you'll, you'll cut yourself out of plug, like this. And it's got a five thirty seconds diameter hole inside of it, dead center. So, I found that the best way to get these 
is off of speaker magnets. You've seen them before. And uh, they have, they've already got a, uh, a dimple right dead center in them. So before I cut this off, I just drill it out to 5 30 seconds of an inch. And then cut it off with hacksaw. Now you've got your plug. Now you take your uh, two and a half inch nipple, slip that plug on top, take your half inch diameter round rod, stick it up in there like that, set up the vise where it will be steady, then you can braise that. And with this 5 30 seconds hole, you can run propane from your David Singery foundry furnace. So, if you want to convert, convert from propane to natural gas, all you have to do is change out your pipe nipples. You know, there's nothing done with this pipe nipple at all. Only thing that makes it work is this machinery bushing inside here to create that venturi effect where everything will mix up perfectly. Where you're going to have a carburizing frame, frame, a carburizing flame, and that's like in between of luminous and blue. And when you have that, you know you're right in the hunt. <clears throat> also, uh, during the rebuild, you know, I found that uh, this had burned back four inches. Here's the end of it that we cut off. And this is how much we added. You can see the, uh, you know, the scrappy welding here. It was just stitch welding with a wire feed. <clears throat> but this is the key you know, to your uh, your burner as a very simple thing, actually. <clears throat> now, I want to uh, get cleaned up here a little bit, get this cover back on, and uh, show you how this fits on to the fan. And we got another a few other little tricks to uh, show you. You know, to make your life easier. You know, as you get older, your life is supposed to get easier. We're going to get back with you in just a few more minutes. And we'll uh, do uh, a closure.